Okay, now we're going to go on to the listing comps. And for that, you just click competitive listings. And if you need a refresher, go back to your real list to find the salient features. Building square foot, 15, uh, 1683. Lot area, 57. We call, so we say 5,700, 1,700. 5,700, 1,700. And let's just go back and see what we find. Most important is your GLA that you could hopefully, hopefully match up. So we're going to scroll down and look in the 1700 grain. I mean, uh, what was my number? 1700, yep. So 1683 ish. Yes, there's something. 1683, probably in the same make, same area. There's one that's even closer, 1683. But the lot size is way larger, so we can take this one to the bank. And that's at 348 It's obviously a little bit overpriced unless there's really good upgrades inside. But whatever, list price usually are higher. Higher. So now we have, all you got to look at is our GLA that we're using for our base. That's our root, 1683, 348. Uh, 348. And then you just look for less GLA and a lower price. That's it, really. Well, that's super low. Um, let's see if we can find... Uh, how about... Kind of stay in the same range. Well, yeah, let's take that one. So, we've got ours, inferior, ours, inferior, and now take something with a higher GLA. It might be the next one. And is it a higher price? It is. And you don't even have to worry about it. Click, click, click. Those three are now populated into the form. We scroll down. And your goal is to only satisfy what's read. And there's only six. So it'll be the comments. One, two, three. And something else. What's that? What type of sale? I always type arm's length. If it ends up being something else, they'll kick it back to me. We don't care. Just turn them and burn them. So we've got that. Then we know we've got, we can look at just the price and know which one we set as similar, inferior, superior. See that? And then just fill in your comments. So we've got... most similar to the subject when comparing GLA, GLA and lot size, located in similar neighborhood, similar age. Okay, so we go to the inferior and we find out what is inferior about it, what is similar, what's superior. It's got similar lot size. Uh, inferior age, inferior GLA, see that? Inferior age, inferior GLA. And that's about enough. Whatever. Just enough just to uh, give a clean, honest answer that you've glanced at it and you're uh, making note of the highlights or lowlights of whatever comp you happen to be looking at. What did I just do? Let me X out of this. And this should larger. There it goes. So, and then let's just fill these in. These are the units. Design, do you remember the answer? Uh, traditional. Uh, traditional. And traditional. Condition, follow the subject. Average. 
average and average. What other red? What is this? Uh, this one's superior. This one's inferior. This one's equal. And then let me just get up there and write those notes. List comp to inferior to the subject when considering what was it? GLA and lot size as well as age. Similar location. Best comparable. Now I just wrote best comparable. Why did I do that? Let's take a look at that comp one. Can you see that picture? Just the picture. And let's look at subject property one. It's the same property. It's just flipped. Same track, same maker, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so the third one, we're just gonna find uh, it's a superior salient features by scrolling down. We already know that our property is, what was it, lot 5700, gross living under 1700. This is superior GLA and age, as well as lot size. Okay. Comp list three is superior to the subject when considering GLA, not GLA, law, lot size and age, shares similar neighborhood. Boom, done. Okay, so it shows again how many dots I mean, are, how many things you needed? Zero. Zero, zero, zero. So next you go to the price opinion and we'll click that. And in there, we just put our, our price idea based on our solds. So let's go to the solds real quick. And this is for pricing. So our three solds that we've decided are bracketing the subject are sale price, we have sale price, 329, 329, 339. So 329 looks like the kind of kind of the number there. And you must choose a number that's between the lowest and the highest. Even though two of them, so since two of them are identical, the lowest is, and highest is two definitive numbers, 329 and 339. So let's put it at that lower one at 329. So we're going to put as is sale, 329, 000. We do not have any repairs, so this as repaired will be the same as our recommended price, which is 329.000. Suggested list price, I'm gonna say 5,000 above that. That's our usual number when you're dealing with low value homes that are under $600,000. So we'll say, I don't know, 334. 000. 334.000. Secondary value at 90 days, is usually a higher value than our primary value. So this is like what's called a quick sale, and this is the higher one. So we know our brand, our uh, range is 329 to 340 or whatever. Let's only push it by 5,000. So we had 329, let's make it 335, just to round it, or 3.3 million, no, I'm kidding, 335,000. 335,000. List price, 5,000 above that. 340. Did I do zero? 
and suggest a list price. Same thing because there's no repair. Why is my keyboard constantly falling down? Okay. Then we go to our market rent. I believe for that size, two bedroom, two bath. Get away with something like 2100 in that area. Land value. You can find this on Realist, but it's usually 60% of the price value-ish. So let's go over here and you notice this is characteristics. We're looking for the tab that says land. There we go. Land. Holy jeez. Round that up. We'll call it 78000 Go back here. Land value. 78000 Easy. Okay, next part. Final comments. Go back to your BPO notes. I have an area I wrote final notes. I have a lot of different final notes, but I go to the end of it and I by con clicking control end and then find the last part of the final notes right here. Anything with the value, something like that, where it looks like you're talking so much and copy, open our form. I'm sorry. And then you open your form and paste. The only thing you would change in here, you want to make sure that it fits the neighborhood that you're dealing with and by adjusting the price. We decided it was 329. Let's do 329. 329 000. You don't have to worry about any of the other verbiage as long as you didn't choose beach verbiage or, you know, beautiful lakeside or anything like that. You check the repair and concerns, it's green. Price opinion, one item. Sold comp address, hmm. So now all these reds are coming up because it doesn't agree with your, some of your stuff. I don't care what they tell me, so I always put the same answer. In order to find enough market data to bracket subject in, whoa, and the no no uh, caps don't know how that happened. In order to find enough market data, I had to expand some search criteria to bracket subject in most other features. Anything to be as vague as you can, but to explain why you expanded uh, features or search criteria. Look at, I'm just copy and pasting, copy and paste, copy and paste, copy and paste. And now, agent comments, green, green. Last part, sign off. Managing broker of record. That would be Jonathan Taylor. Inspection date yesterday. Okay, so managing broker of record, Jonathan Taylor. Uh, inspection date, yesterday's date. Drop signature, click there. Go in the Google Drive under my name and scroll all the way down. Look for SIG. Should be SIG. Oh my God. Bada bing. There we go. And it should load. And there it is. Now that's satisfied. Now every single thing is satisfied except the photos. The end.